in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brethren, let us humbly acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant, Mama Tita, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the readings. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men and women indeed they may be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worth of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks to stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response will be, Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. In green pastures, he gives me repose. Be restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. He guides me in the right path for his name's sake. Even when I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. 
Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Verse before the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long, will come from heaven to save us. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At the start of an ordination of priests, Archbishop Sofriliegas started his homily with this story. He said, there are many kinds of priests. There are many shapes, colors, and qualities of priests. Meron daw pong paring matangkad. Meron daw pong paring pandak. May paring mapuputi. May paring pinaglihi sa uli. May paring guwapo. May paring puti na lang nagpari. May pari makakapal ang buhok. May pari magaganda ang bumbunan. Yan. Pang ano po sa amin yan? Konsolasyon. At may pari magaganda ang boses. May pari walang karapatan. But he continued that no matter the shape, the size, the color of a priest, there's always one beautiful part of a priest, and that is his hands. The priest or the hands of the priests are always beautiful. Why? Dahil ito ang kamay na nagbabasbas sa mga tao. Ito ang mga kamay na nagpapatawad ng kasalanan. Ito ang kamay na nagpapahilong, nagpapagaling, ng lahat ng mga karamdaman at sakit. Ito ang mga kamay na nag-uugnay muli ng mga nagkakahiwalay na sisirang relasyon. Ito ang mga kamay na nagbubuklod sa pag-ibig ng mag-asawa. But today, on the ninth day of uh, Mama Tita's going back to the father's home, it is through the hands of Jesus Christ that we are commending her soul. Sa mga kamay ni Jesus natin, ipinatagubilin ang haluluwa ni Mami, ni Mama Tat, Mama Tita. Every time that we remember, 
every time that we take note of something which reminds us of Mama Tita, her scent, her picture, her favorite song, whatever the situation is, we always Father, excuse me, we, you were muted. May I ask you to unmute again? Okay, did you? Thank you. Thank you. the rest of the first part of my homily? Yes, Father, we heard the first part. Okay, Bob. So, we are celebrating this gift of life of Mama Tita. We are thankful, we are so blessed with her presence for 95 fruitful years, blessed by the Lord. I'd like to remind everyone that this Mass is not only for Mama, Mama Tita. This Mass is for each one of us because Eucharist means thanksgiving. And we are thanking God for the gift of life that he has blessed do I continue for? Yes, Father. Sorry. Uh, have you heard me loud and clear? The last few. Uh, the last. My problem is about you. Yes. yes. Uh, can I can I get one response only from one person? Did I sound clear to you? No, if you could repeat it again, Father, I just muted everybody again. Okay, I'd like to remind everyone that this Mass is not only for Mama Tita, but for each one of us, for the gift of life that he has blessed all of us. We are celebrating her ninth day, and we are on the first Monday of the second week of Lent. And what does Lent try to teach us? It teaches us that Lent is sacrifice. And what is the true meaning of sacrifice? Ang sacrifice ang pagbibigay ng buong sarili na nararamdaman niyang siya ay nagkulang, siya ay nawalan, siya ay nasaktan. I'm very sure that with the 95 years that Mama Tita has lived, she has sacrificed a lot for her loved ones. Ibinigay niya ang kanyang buong sarili. Siya at mga nanay ang tinatawag kong pinakasinungaling na tao sa balat ng lupa. Bakit? I'm not hungry. Go, finish the food. I am not tired. Go, sleep. I am not thirsty. Go, finish the drink. At sasabihin lagi nila, ang anak ko ang pinakagwapo. Ang anak ko ang pinakamaganda. Pero kahit sa madat ng tao ay hindi. But only a mother knows, in the eyes, in the sight of a mother, her children are her jewels. Her children are her tanging yaman dito sa mundo. So every time we remember Mama Tita in a special song, 
in a favorite song of hers. Isang sitwasyon, paborito niyang kulay, paborito niyang bulaklak. We always lift up Mama Tita's soul to the hands of the Heavenly Father. Napakaganda po ng panahon natin ngayon, no? yung sakripisyo. But we cannot outdo the sacrifice, the generosity of God. We always remember God in any Eucharistic celebration. Because this celebration is presided, is celebrated not by the priest, not by us, but by Jesus Christ himself. Jesus Christ celebrates every Eucharistic celebration. Jesus Christ is the one who sacrificed himself for our salvation. Let us remember this. Kahit tayo sumuko sa Diyos, dahil nahihiya tayo sa dami ng ating kasalanan, ang Diyos ay hinding-hindi magsasawa sa atin. Hinding-hindi siya susuko sa atin. God will never give up on us. It is a time to celebrate our lives. This is a time to celebrate the love of God. And this is a time to celebrate the sacrifice, the great sacrifice of God for our salvation. Isa lamang ang kanyang pinangako sa lahat ng kanyang sakripisyo para tayo ay magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggang. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where He intercedes for His Church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to His. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Do we have a reader for the prayers of the faithful? Yes, sorry, Father, <coughs> I'm just including this screen. Sorry, Dad? Huh? Can you unmute? Um, is that the general intercession? I don't have that. Lab? <coughs> 